When you start talking about moving someplace, everyone is quick to tell you about all the great things that are gonna happen to you once you get there, right? But today, I'm gonna share some secrets that nobody tells you about what you're in for when you're moving to Indiana. And then I'm going to add a set of rapid fire fun facts just for fun. Follow me now. Hi, I'm Bob Morris with Top Choice Real Estate and the Living in Indiana team. If it's your first time on the channel, thank you. And if you'd like to know everything about living in the greater Indianapolis area, then hit the subscribe button, tap the bell to be notified of the next video so you're the first to learn where the market is headed next or which great house just had a for sale sign put in the front yard. Okay, let's get to it. Four things nobody tells you about when you're moving to Indiana. Number one, this is basketball country. James Naismith may have invented basketball in Springfield, Massachusetts, but here in Indiana, basketball takes on the stature of a religion. People are devout believers. If you've seen the movie Hoosier starring Gene Hackman, you know what I'm talking about. It's based on uh, the story of Milan High School with 161 students winning the 1954 State High School Basketball Championship. My wife's aunt was a cheerleader on the team, so it's no surprise Lynn and her two sisters were cheerleaders. For the most part, those that were in high school in 1954 have passed. But the IU fans of the 1970s and 80s live on with hopes of a second coming. No, I'm not talking about that second coming. I'm talking about another Bobby Knight. No politician in the Hoosier State was ever idolized like Coach Bobby Knight. March Madness lives and breathes here. We're a frequent host of Big Ten and NCAA championships, which really adds to the flavor. So hey, get out in your driveway and sharpen up your free throws. Number two, basketball is not the only sport that brings many, many people together in huge numbers. Let's talk auto racing. Indianapolis is the home of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway and the Indianapolis 500. Sportscasters call it the greatest spectacle in racing. Each year, three to 400,000 fans attend, and it's televised in over 200 countries. It's the world's largest sporting event. It consumes the entire city. The festivities begin actually on January 1st each year, and they really get rolling with the month of May. Yes, a full month. Hey, there's rookie orientation, and there's practice, and there's qualifying, and then there's something called bump day and carb day, and no, I'm not talking about those that you eat, and the 500 parade, which is the third largest parade in the United States. On race day, 33 drivers run 200 laps around the two and a half mile oval. It is so big, that the Brickyard Golf Course has five holes inside the track. The race started in 1911 and it's just steeped in tradition. The winning driver kisses the fabled Brickyard, he chugs a quart of milk, and then he's handed the 110 pound Borg Warner Trophy and a really fat check. It's so challenging that only five have won it back to back in over a hundred years and nobody has won three in a row. Speeds top 237 miles per hour. So it's no wonder that names like A.J. Floyd and Mario Andretti and Elio Castronovas live on as legends. Not a race fan? No worries. Come join the party. People from the world over flock to Indy for race weekend. The party action is almost as fast as the action on the track. Hey, maybe it's time to start a new tradition. Number three, let's talk beer, wine, alcohol. It's generally sold from 7 a.m. to 3 a.m except on Sunday. Then it's only available from noon to 8 p.m. and only in restaurants. So no liquor stores, grocery stores, or convenience stores can sell alcohol on Sunday. And get this, they can't even sell cold soda pop or bottled water at any time. Hey, it's not as bad as it used to be. Before 2010, you couldn't buy beer at all on Sunday. Hey, I'm old enough to remember Sunday beer. You had to plan ahead. Otherwise, you were bugging your buddies all day long to buy some overpriced cans that they'd been smart enough to stock up on. So I don't know about that early worm thing, but do plan ahead. Number four, Elvis is in the building. Well, he was. He actually played his last gig here. Hey, you can still find great music around town at Gainbridge Fieldhouse, at Lucas Oil Stadium, at the White River Park Pavilion, but mostly at Ruoff Music Center. Year in and year out, it is in the top five in the world 
in outdoor music venue ticket sales. In 2018, it was number one worldwide. Just crazy. So hey, be sure to get your summer pass. And here's two pro tips that'll really enhance your experience. Opt for the Legends parking pass. It, it allows you to drive right up to the turnstiles. And when you leave at night, you're out of the parking lot in five minutes and on your way home. It's, it's, it's wonderful, okay? And the second one, the second pro tip is dine out someplace back about 15 minutes from the traffic pattern. And that way you'll be able to not have to wait in line and can get right to the concert and have a great time. Okay, let's have some fun. Are you ready for some rapid fire fun facts? Abraham Lincoln's boyhood home is here. Hmm. Yeah, Kentucky claims that uh, he was born there and they've got a log cabin and Indiana has a boyhood home. And of course, Illinois is the land of Lincoln. Hey, right near there is a place called Santa Claus, Indiana. And it postmarks over a half a million letters every Christmas. James Dean, you know the guy that they always show uh, next to uh, Marilyn Monroe in those uh, Andy Warhol poster situations, okay? Hey, he was born in Indiana, right near Garfunkel. And not to be outdone, Raggedy Ann was uh, born here as well. Peru, Indiana was once the circus capital of the world. So it's no surprise that Indiana grows a lot of popcorn. In fact, Orville Redenbacher uh, produces their popcorn here. Park County has 32 covered bridges and it's known as the covered bridge capital of the world. They have a festival every fall that attracts millions of people to this tiny little town. Indiana also has huge limestone deposits. If you've ever seen the movie Breaking Away, that's uh, where they were diving off the big rock formations into the stone quarries. Indiana limestone has uh, been the cornerstone of many famous buildings, including the Empire State Building. When you're driving around the country roads, you may see many Amish and Mennonites with their wagons. And before automobiles were produced here in the state, like hundreds of different um, makes and models in the early 1900s, the Studebaker Company was the largest producer of horse-drawn wagons. There were 12 different stagecoach lines, which ran the national road straight through the crossroads of America. Indianapolis. The Slippery Noodle Inn in Indianapolis opened in 1850. It's the oldest bar in the state and it's still a great place to go hear blues music. And during prohibition years, gangs were served alcohol pretty much nonstop. Not to be outdone, French Lick was home to the French Lick Casino. In fact, it still is. It was dubbed the eighth wonder of the world and it was a frequent host of the Al Capone gang during the prohibition years. Want to learn more about living in Indiana, its customs and traditions, as well as its neighborhoods and new construction communities, or maybe you want to walk through a home that you've just seen advertised. Well, hey, text me or book a call. Be sure to tune in every Tuesday for tours of new construction homes, then every Thursday for tours of existing homes for sale in the most popular neighborhoods. Then join us on Saturday for community tours and to learn about living in Indiana. My slogan is, I work harder to make good things happen. The cool part is, that was given to me by my clients. There's a good reason why over half of my business is repeat business. Hey, let me know if I can be of service. Make it a great day now. And if this has been helpful, be sure to check out that video right there, right now.